Hello, I'm Gibber Porch, and welcome to the LUTV Sports Break. With a multitude of sports events happening across the campus and beyond, it's hard to keep up with every dribble, touchdown, score, win, and loss. Luckily, we have LUTV sports reporter Angel Hastings to keep students up to date from the courts to the stadiums and everything in between. Welcome to the Big Red Sports Brief. Teams have wrapped up their first season in the Western Athletic Conference, while others are preparing to dominate the new league. Women's basketball finished the season with a record of 14 and 15 overall. Acacia Davis was named the Western Athletic Freshman of the Year. The Cards lost in the second round of the WAC tournament to the Sam Houston Bearcats. They finished in 8th seed in conference play and will start preparing for the next season. We didn't do as good as we wanted to do, but next year we'll be back uh, stronger and better. Men's baseball is currently 14 and 7 overall and 5 and 1 in conference play. LU has now won their last six out of eight games. The next match will be against UT Rio Grande Valley, March 26 at 6 p.m. in Edinburgh, Texas. Men's tennis is currently 10 and 6 overall and 2 and 0 in conference play. Freshman Daniel Sancho Aribzu was named WAC Singles Player of the Week. This has marked his fourth WAC Player of the Week award. Their next match is March 27 at 11 a.m. against Abilene Christian at the Thompson Family Tennis Center. That's it for the Big Red Sports Week. Thank you for tuning in with us. I'm Angel Hastings, Lamar University Sports. Recently, Beaumont City Council awarded the Beaumont United Boys basketball team with a proclamation after this season's success. The Timberwolves finished with an overall record of 36-3, while also being ranked 17th nationally. An official celebration for the team is scheduled on Saturday, April 30th. Details for the event have not been released, but when more information is received, LUTV Sports will share the time and location. After starting their season with two losses, the Beaumont Panthers basketball team have found their stride. The Panthers are on a two-game win streak with both victories against the Waco Royals. This brings their overall record to three wins and three losses. The Panthers are ranked sixth in the Central Division of the Basketball League, to learn more about their upcoming home games at Ford Arena, visit the BeaumontPanthers.com. After, after some teams' fairy tale story has ended, we are nearing the end of the National College Athletic Association's March Madness. The Final Four is this weekend for both men and women's basketball. The Women's Hoops semifinals will take place Friday, April 1st. The South Carolina Gamecocks will meet the Louisville Cardinals at 6 p.m. in the first game. The second game matchup starting at 8.30 p.m features the Connecticut Huskies versus the Stanford Cardinals. The champion will be crowned Sunday night at the Target Center in Minneapolis. Game starts at 7 p.m. Watch all of these games on ESPN. And now let's look at the men's bracket of the Final Four. Their games will take place Saturday. In the first semifinal, the Villanova Wildcats face the Kansas Jayhawks with a tip-off at 5.09 p.m. And immediately after, the North Carolina Tar Heels will meet their storied rival, the Duke Blue Devils, at 7.49 p.m. The winners will fight for the national championship Monday at 8 p.m. You can watch these games for the Final Four on TBS. Thank you for tuning in to LUTV Sports Break, where we keep you in the game for every game. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more Lamar University sports. See you next time.